Hello, I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library. And this week for STEAM Explorations, we will be doing some snowflake salt painting. So, in your packet you'll have a template and you can try and use any kind of glue you like, but a glue stick may be the simplest form of glue to use. So you just will trace the shape of the template with your glue, with whatever sort of glue you're using. If you're using a glue stick, you can kind of just use the edge to trace those lines. You will have to go kind of quick if you're going to use a glue stick though because that glue starts drying. You will also have a little packet of salt in your bag. So once you're done with your glue doing the pattern then you'll just pour the salt over your glue. And then you can carefully kind of shake it around to get the salt all over the place, all over your glue. And then you'll dump the rest of the salt off the edge of your paper and into a trash can. And then the salt will stick onto the page in the pattern of where you left the glue. Now you'll also have some very strong watercolor. Be very careful with this. It will stain. So be careful opening it up and you'll have a little dropper. So we'll pull some watercolor up into our dropper. Now once your salt has dried, you can very gently drop just a little bit one tiny drop onto your salt painting and the salt will absorb the liquid from the watercolor and you can watch it spread around on your painting. You don't want to get too much on it so just do one little drop at a time and then you can watch it spread. And you could even test it out with doing part of it and then leaving it and checking it again in an hour or so and seeing if the color has spread even further. But that is our craft slash experiment for today. So I would love to hear your observations in the comments or see pictures of your completed snowflakes. If you would like to share them. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week for another STEAM Explorations.